Come on, look at the red. I got my perk. Oh. Watch this. <gasps> oh, I wanna help you out. Did you see that? <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh, oh, shoot it. Watch this. We're murdering. A bad time. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was sick. Imagine. Oh, oh, get in what there. a clip. What's happening everyone? This is Lesky here with my first FIFA 22 Volta player build. I have not been able to get any builds out for you guys since the Volta matchmaking has just been absolutely broken. I have not been able to get into any matches since this most recent title update that just came out with. The matchmaking actually works now and you can find matches in Volta squads and actually play the game. Beforehand, like the first three months of the game, I just it was not possible for me to get into a match of Volta. So that's why I didn't post any player builds for Volta since I couldn't actually play the game. But now, since the matchmaking actually works, we can get into some matches. I can show you guys this first player build that I made, which is a defensive player build, which I had a ton of fun using. Um, and it is a max skill point build as well. For, the, for those of y'all that don't have max skill points, I have a video on my channel explaining you guys, explaining to you guys the fastest and easiest way to level up and get max skill points in Volta for this year. So go ahead and check that video out before this video if you want, get the max skill points and then come back over here and check out this defensive build. So let's get started with this build video. Let's first take a look at the height and weight that we have listed for this player build. So in order to get to the athletic page, we're gonna click customize and then go to edit avatar and then you tab over once to get to the athletic page where you can see we are listed as 6'7", 253 pounds for a defender build. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know about this, but last year in Volta for FIFA 21, the tallest you could be for your build was 6'2". This year, they allow you to go 6'7", exactly like pro clubs for a max height and weight build of 6'7", 253 pounds. But the thing is in Volta, being 6'7", 253 pounds is a lot more usable than it is in pro clubs, and I'll show you guys why. If we go on this chart and move the cursor, like the height and the weight all over, the, some of the attributes change, like the sprint speed, strength, jumping, acceleration, but the agility and the balance, which is the most important for Volta, just the dribbling and being very responsive, the agility and balance stays the exact same. So you could be, which is a lot different than pro clubs, you could be 5'3", 99 pounds, and have 95 agility and 95 balance, or like you, you can be what I am, like 6'7", 253 with this defensive build and have the exact same agility and balance. I think that's just crazy. The only negatives is if is you lose some acceleration and some sprint speed, but you only lose three acceleration and three sprint speed compared to being 5'3", 99 pounds. And you're absolutely massive. That's the positive. You're 6'7", 253 pounds, huge body. You win every ball in the air. You body people out of the way. You just bully them, run them over, make some crazy tackles, especially as a defender build. It's really fun being a 6'7", 253 pound build because you have the 95 agility and 95 balance and you feel really silky and smooth on the ball. So as a defender build, at least, I don't think there's like any reason to go short um, compared to going tall. Like you might as well be tall. Yeah, you do lose a tiny bit of acceleration and sprint speed, but honestly, you're not going to tell much of a difference. You're going to tell way more of a difference just being an absolute beast. A physical specimen of 6'7", 253 pounds will be a lot more important than just having a little bit more acceleration and sprint speed. And then you also gain strength and jumping when you go 6'7", 253 pounds, which is really nice for a defender build. But of course you don't have to use the same height and weight as me. It's more of a preference compared to like the play style screen, which is a lot more important, like where you add the skill points to your skill tree. That's more important to copy exactly what I have rather than like the actual height and weight. Y'all can do whatever y'all like. Just keep in mind the attribute changes um, when you change the height and weight and they're very minimal changes um you're not going to notice much of a difference so for me that's why i go six seven 253 pounds just to have the big body but now let's move on to the play style screen for this page i'll show you guys what perk i'm using for this defensive build and what i have on the skill tree so here we are on the play style screen and what i'll show you guys first is the signature ability that we have for this build 
where I, of course, went for the aggressive tackle since this is a defender build. And honestly, this is the most fun ability to use, in my opinion. It is so fun to use, especially if you're a defender and you like defend defending and practicing your defensive abilities. This will make the game even more fun just because it's just hilarious. You're allowed to slide tackle in Volta, and when you have this ability active, you can't foul. You have no fouls. You can make the dirtiest slide tackles on people. They're going one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. You come up from behind them, slide them, take out their legs, basically break their ankles, no foul. You can do the most dirty stuff when you have the ability active. By just pressing X, you can slide tackle on the ground, or by pressing B, your guy basically does like a shoulder charge, like a hip check, like a hockey check into a wall, and you can bump people onto the ground, and you don't even like have to be on defense when you're doing this. Like Your teammate can have the ball dribbling it, and you can be pressing B and like trying to barge people out of the way, ram into people. You can even slide people while your team has the ball. It's pretty funny. Like You can slide people off the ball, make them fall on the ground, so they're useless to help out on defense. It's really funny using this build, and I have a ton of clips just sliding people very dirty with this build, making them mad, uh, making them rage, honestly, and then just bumping them out of the way and just bullying them. Because once we get to the physical page on this build, we have like 99 aggression, 99 strength, 99 jumping. The defensive abilities are cracked. Um, and then with this perk, like with the 99 aggression especially, your guy is just a bully, man. I guess that's why they have a bull as the picture. You're literally a bull just ramming into anything. You don't care what's in your way. It's very funny to use, and this is definitely the most fun perk to use in Volta for me. It's just a lot of fun, and I get a lot of enjoyment out of it just destroying people and making some dirty plays. So remember when using this aggressive tackle signature ability to press B on Xbox or circle on PlayStation, I believe, to shoulder check people, just body them, run into them, and just knock them off the ball or just make them fall to the ground. It's pretty freaking hilarious. And then also use the X button on Xbox or the square button on PlayStation to hit some nasty slide tackles, which are extremely overpowered and can really frustrate your opponents. So just keep that in mind and utilize this aggressive tackle ability because it's a lot of fun to use and extremely useful. So now let's take a look at the skill tree. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is going to be a max skill point build. 120 skill points is the max for Volta this year. And we are a 94 rated defender. Some of y'all's it could be lower. Some of y'all could be higher just depending how many games you played. Because some of your like attributes after every game increase slightly. So some of y'all's like um, attributes could be a little bit lower. So your rating could be lower or it could be higher depending on how many games y'all have played. Uh, if that makes sense. So here is my skill tree that I have. I'm going to clear all this and then we're going to start on the defensive page. So what you're going to want to do on the defensive page is this first one costs 15 skill points. Like for every single section, the first one costs 15 and it upgrades that attribute that it's focusing on plus nine. So you have to spend 15 skill points to get into the first section no matter what. And what you're going to do is go down the middle and just go all the way down to this interceptions. This will basically max out your interceptions to 92. It'll increase your defensive awareness and your standing tackle, which is really nice. I don't know exactly how the defensive awareness works. Like, I don't know if it's kind of like pro clubs where the defensive awareness only works if, like, that's computer using your build. Like, if you're an any and you're not controlling your build. But it does say it improves your jockeying, blocking, and tackling ability. So we're going to act like it helps it. Um, it helps our build, but I, I really don't know, but we're just going to go all the way down to the bottom, get the interceptions, which will max out our interceptions to 92 and then give us 99 defensive awareness and 99 stand tackling. A lot of our defending attributes are at 99, almost all of them, except for like heading accuracy, I believe. And then you're going to go all the way to the bottom right, right here. And we're going to get 99 aggression. 99 strength, 99 jumping. Even though we already had 99 jumping to start with, for me, I had 99 jumping. That's one of those attributes that upgrades after every game. So for some of y'all, y'all might not have 99 jumping. So in that case, if y'all don't have 99 jumping, what you're going to do is go to this jumping right here and click it, 
for me, I don't need it because it'll be a waste of skill points since I already have the 99 jumping. Um, but while I was using this build before I played a lot of games and got my jumping maxed out, it was at like 96. So it was actually worthwhile getting this jumping. But now I don't need it because it's completely maxed out since I've played a ton of games. So basically all I'm trying to say, for some of y'all that don't have the 99 jumping yet, y'all are going to want this jumping to get it to 99. But if y'all already have 99 like myself, then you aren't going to want it and you're going to want to use those extra skill points to put elsewhere. Uh, but we're just going to have it on for now and just fill out the rest of the skill tree because this is what I had when I was using this build. And this is it for this defensive side. We're not going to get these bottom three on the left side. It increases heading, more jumping, which we don't need, and then more heading accuracy again. Like we could get 99 heading accuracy, but it's kind of a waste. You're not going to have too many header chances in Volta. Yeah, like on the corner kicks, you'll have some on the outdoor the courts that have out of bounds, the ones that aren't fenced in, you'll have some chances. And I did score some headers with this build, but it's not that important. And 85 heading actually is actually already pretty good. So moving on to the midfielder section, this is where we're going to increase our ball control and dribbling and get that up a bit. So you're going to go all the way down to this fourth one on the left side, and this will get you to 90 ball control and 94 dribbling as a defender, which are very nice with the 95 agility and 95 balance and then we're going to try and increase the vision so we're going to go down to this vision right here which will increase our short passing and our vision vision to 90 and short passing to 94 and then we're going to go down to this second one on the right side which is long passing plus five and then also crossing plus five which will get both of those to 85 which are really nice for passing stats for a defender build. So for this defender build, I felt like it was a lot more necessary to increase the dribbling attributes as well as the passing attributes rather than increasing the shooting because you're going to find yourself staying in the back a lot trying to prevent the counter attacks and having better passing attributes like once you steal the ball and you're going to be trying to look for your attackers and your midfielders trying to play like LBYs over the top or just X passes, X lofted passes over the top or just whatever kind of pass it may be, it's just nice to increase your passing ability. And of course, increasing the dribbling is very important for Volta, no matter what build you are using. So I feel like it was a lot more important to increase the midfielder section rather than the shooting section for a defender build. So I believe that's going to wrap it up for this defender build. An absolute tank, a unit in the back, locking it down, shutting down your opponents, and then helping your team um, start your offense basically stealing the ball you'll steal the ball a ton with the 99 stand tackling have the 99 aggression to bump people out of the way with the aggressive tackling signature ability on you can steal the ball so easily you're like a magnet to the ball it's pretty crazy and a lot of fun to use on the defensive side of the ball oh yeah i was also going to mention this extra jumping right here that you don't really need like i don't need it for my build because i already have 99 jumping as my base attribute since i'm a 6-7 build and i've already played a lot of games had a lot of games under my belt and i've got that jumping to increase after every game to 99 so i don't need this extra jumping as you guys can see it would be nice i guess to get the extra heading actually the plus five heading actually but like an alternative to not getting this jumping and just wasting these three skill points is you could go for the crossing, I guess. This is like your other option you could do. You could go for plus five crossing for four skill points. But the thing is, we have five skill points available. This costs four. We'll have one skill point to spare that we just can't use on anything else. Um, but this is just for the people that already have 99 jumping for their player and just don't need that extra jumping. For most of y'all, y'all might not have 99 jumping yet, and y'all are going to want like what I ha previously had, so I'm going to put that back, but that's just an alternative for the people that already have that max jumping on their build. Um, let me put that back, and there it is. That's the final product. This is what I used for my skill tree when I was playing with this build the entire time. Had it exactly like this, so feel free to give it a try. This, this defensive build is my very first to player build this year i'm going to be coming out with a midfielder build an attacker build and probably a bunch more just to switch it up try to try new things see if we can try some fun builds out and get some content out for you guys since volta actually works now which is great to hear 
Um, and I'm excited to get these build videos out for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. And peace out.